Hey you guys, it's Sammy with Unicorn Desk Designs. Today I am bringing you some fun, kind of easy. It takes a while, but it was actually very relaxing and super cute um, Dollar Tree crafts. All you're gonna need are the two mini sparkly pineapples. I wish I would have taken a picture before, but you will see them in this video. And the large summer sparkly pineapple as well. Some jute twine, not jute twine, you guys, I'm sorry, the nautical rope, and then um, some raffia, which I, all of this stuff you can get at the Dollar Tree. You're gonna need a glass storage um container which i will show you which one that i use and some onion grass as well so um i hope you guys like this video this decor can go really with any any house home um it could go with boho it could go with farmhouse i mean possibilities are endless so with that said let's go ahead and jump into the video All right, everybody, here is what we are gonna get into making today. Sorry about that damn shadow, can't get rid of it. But these are absolutely gorgeous. They are time consuming, so keep that in mind. Okay, so here I am taking the nautical rope and some pineapples from Dollar Tree. Those come in like a purple and a yellow. Um, I sat down to do this. I am like unraveling it because I want to braid it note to self. Well, I actually did this for the next round, you guys. So right here, I'm taking the three strands and I'm taping it to my table. You guys, advice, I learned the hard way. Do this somewhere higher. I ended up taping the second um, nautical rope that I had to unwind and braid up on my staircase and stood up and did this and it was so much easier because as you can see, it just kept getting knotted up and it's so long that it took me forever to do. I was cursing at the ceiling and I was getting so frustrated, but once I ended up getting it on the stairwell, stairwell um, it was so much smoother and faster to do. So now I braided this and I went through, I wanna say like two and a half things of nautical rope from DT. Um, I need to stop saying, um, you guys. All right. So now I'm just unraveling this. Of course, I'm going to keep this because, uh, you never know when you're going to need it. And I'm sure we could use it during Christmas time for something. Keep in mind that these do come apart. Like the actual pineapples, like are just attached to each other. See, it comes apart. So if you wanna make sure they stay together, um, I ended up on the second one, hot gluing the top of the pineapple to the plastic. And here, we're just going to quickly, I just wanted to see if it would work because this was just an idea. I did not try this before this video and it actually looked freaking adorable. So I'm just going to start from the bottom. I taped my ends off so that it wouldn't fray. I didn't have to worry about like trying to hot glue it down. And I'm just starting from the very bottom. And then as I get used to this, I end up starting to hot glue on the actual plastic part and then putting the nautical rope on top of it. So how like in the first part, I was putting the hot glue on the rope, then sticking it on the pineapple. It was a lot easier to put it on the plastic part of the pineapple. And I probably did this for like every other big piece of plastic. So see, as you can tell, like I haven't started it yet. The second one, I learned a little bit more and it worked a lot better, easier and faster um, putting the hot glue on the plastic part of the pineapple. And now I am just going to continue to wrap this around right underneath the, um, little, what do you call it? The leaves, the stem, I don't know. And you guys where Dollar Tree has those hot pink, like hot glue gum protector things for your finger, wear those. Cause I burn the crap out of my finger 
trying to press this down. And now you're gonna stuff, there's like a small area right underneath those leaves where you can stuff the remainder amount of it on there. So I like stuffed it and then put the hot glue in there and it worked perfectly. I love the braided um, nautical rope on this because it gave it that texture that it needed. It made it feel, I don't know, more pineapple looking instead of just going around and around and around because then it just would have looked like rose which I did not want so that's why I took the time and braided it it is time consuming to do like three things of nautical rope but the payoff is so pretty look at how cute that turned out so I'm I'm impressed with myself you guys okay so this next one same thing, we're using the braided rope. I actually was able to use the leftovers of the small pineapples, um, not a cool rope. So right here, I'm just taking off this stuff again. I don't even know what this stuff is called. Um, and the bottom part was super easy to take off, but then the green part, I was like, I tried taking it off and then I started hacking it with the scissors because it is intertwined around like all of the plastic leaves. So that is why I'm going to fast forward through this. Yeah, see, I'm like, come on, get off. All right, it's off. <laughs> and now I'm just using some twine as our hanger and it did come with a green like piece of ribbon, which you can definitely use, but I didn't like how bright it was because I don't know, I felt like it wouldn't go with my thing. So here you guys, on these pineapples, I'm sorry it's not like the best, but see the little prongs that are on the side of this pineapple? It made it super, super easy to attach this nautical rope. All I did was try to catch a piece of it on there and then I would um, string it along. So like just going, weaving back and forth, back and forth is what I did. Um, I'll show you guys, I know I turned it around, here we go. So see how I'm like attaching it to that plastic prong, let's see. And then we're going to hot glue. So what i learned this is i'm just hot gluing the beginning of my piece of nautical rope and what i learned all of the slats that are going vertically so see how i'm putting hot glue right there i learned down the road like halfway through if you put it on there then lay your nautical rope on top and kind of push up with it then it holding it on the bottom and it also gets a little bit of hot glue in between the two pieces of nautical rope which looked a lot better because I can definitely tell you that the top of this was a lot more loose looking like not as as tightly put together as the bottom is on this because of course as you go you keep learning so you see how I'm just notching it and then going and seriously the leftovers of those little pineapples worked great and then i think i ended up having to do a third one i'm almost positive but see how i push that up onto it and for this you guys again wear those pink protectors because i burn my finger and please tell me why i'm right-handed and my hot glue gun is on my left side um i don't know maybe i like to make my life a little bit more difficult not too sure but there is a point in this video where i actually go to grab the hot glue gun and grab it at the nozzle and literally burnt the crap out of my finger like there was a mark left on my finger because i'm awesome like that so here's gonna be the end of this first piece and all i'm gonna do just like with the beginning piece is tuck it in the back and hot glue it so you guys, the back of this is not gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It is not pretty. If you wanted to make it pretty, I'm sure you can maybe like cut out a piece of belt or something and maybe glue it to the back just so you don't see all of the ends of your 
nautical ropes. So here I am. I'm just hot glue in the end. It's coming together. I am seriously so impressed with this. I loved it. So cute. And as you see it come together. And I just, I, you guys, I don't know what tape this is. Um, if you could look over to the right, it like, almost feels like a fabric band-aid. And I found it in one of my craft drawers and it is seriously amazing. I have no idea where it came from, what it's called. I could probably look on the inside of the tube, but it is awesome for this rope. It holds it to, oh, there we go. I burned my finger. All right, and now I'm just going to kind of fast forward through all of this part, but like I've said numerous times, it is time consuming, but it's worth it. And I'm sure you can do it without braiding all the rope because that is what was um, more time consuming was just unraveling it, braiding it, and then doing that three times with three strands of nautical rope. So if you did end up just wanting to use the regular, I'm sure it would look just as good. So that's up to you. I just like the texture. It looks like the bumpy outer um, part of the pineapple. So here we go. It doesn't that look great? All that texture, all that bumpiness. I love it. Okay, so now we're getting our raffia out. And I am just going to see how long I need it. And then I'm going to tie these up just in little knots and then cut them off. And I'm going to make several of these. A lot. And you could use any color raffia. Actually, I, dang it, now that I think about it, I'm like, I should have used the green raffia. Hello, duh. Uh, didn't even think about that until right now. I was just really excited about this. And seriously, I thought I was gonna be able to do the nautical rope up top, but it just was not working with how the plastic leaf part was. And I was trying to think of just different ideas that I can use for the leaves. And then I happened to look at this raffia and I was like, you know what? That could actually look really good, really boho. So I decided, you know what? Let's just try this out, see if it'll work. It was looking cute, so I did not mind. And I'm just taking several of the pieces. I think I ended up using two of the little, I don't know, I don't want to say packets of them because um, I didn't use an entire, two of the tied together pieces. I don't know what I'm talking about, you guys. But I think you, two out of the three in the bag that you get at Dollar Tree, that is what I use. So um, you're also going to need to cut the very bottom of your knots off because I did not keep those long strands on the bottom on there. Um, didn't realize how long this tape was on this video because I don't think you guys wanna watch this forever or hear me talk forever, but we're just gonna go with it for now until I learn how to edit videos. <laughs> So use everything that you can. It doesn't matter if the pieces are short or they're long. You want different lengths in this so that it adds more texture and it's just visually more appealing. You don't want them all the same length because obviously pineapple leaves are not the same length. So here we go. Come on. Come on, Sammy. So I'm cutting the ends off, as you can see right here. And... I'm doing this because I just wanted it to look a little clean. I mean, I didn't want it to look, here we go. Now I'm gonna hot glue these. You do need to, at first, when you are doing these to the base where the plastic is, you do need to hold them down for just a little bit. See how that one was moving? Just to kind of like grip. And then once you start layering these up, you won't have to hold them for that long so i'm just gonna keep doing this i don't care really like what length is going where at least i don't think so um because you are gonna layer these up and you're gonna do a ton of them just to because you're trying to cover that plastic part so 
Let's keep going. I'm gonna speed this up. And here's me doing like the second pack just to add more feeling because obviously you can still see the plastic part on the right side and then you can see it through the raffia. I tried to do it on the back to see if it would just like fill up the space and make it look fluffier, but it didn't work. So I just figured I would just layer them on top of each other so that you would get that fluffy look. And um, are you ever gonna do that right side, Sammy? Because um, I can totally, there we go. All right, I finally got it. All right, isn't that absolutely adorable? I love it. I love that texture, it's so beautiful. And this could look good anywhere because it's a neutral color. It's not like you're using bright yellows and greens. So I'm super happy with how this came out and my little pineapples. And next, you guys, we are working on that pineapple glass storage jar from Dollar Tree along with some onion grass. And this was super easy, fun to make. You could do it with your kids. Okay, so for this project, you're just going to need some Mod Podge food coloring, and your storage. They saw, call them glass storage containers at Dollar Tree, so that's why I'm calling it this. And this was the perfect container because of those the way that it's printed on there. So I'm taking the Mod Podge. I obviously want to make a pineapple, so that's yellow food coloring. And we need something to mix it. That might help. So I'm mixing this up. At first I thought it was orange, but it's probably because the inside of the cup is red. So you kind of want it runny. So with the, um, the Mod Podge, it is a little bit thicker. So what I'm gonna do is add just a little, little bit of water to this. And you guys, I got this idea from another YouTuber. I cannot remember her exact name right this second, but I will attach her link down below because she does like a bunch of fun colors and um, she might be able to explain it a little better. So after mixing our Mod Podge water and food coloring, I'm gonna pour this into our glass and we are going to coat the glass. So I'm just kind of spinning this around slowly, trying to get it all over the place, covering that entire jar. And it doesn't seem like it's a lot of liquid, but it actually is a lot of liquid. And keep in mind that your glass container isn't going to be this color. It's gonna come out a lot lighter than what it looks like right now. So I'm just making sure, and then I'm gonna do the rim. So here I am just turning that around. And you guys can save this mixture for something else. I just didn't have a smaller container. I didn't have a, any purpose to use more yellow. So I unfortunately tossed it, but um, I just tossed it in the trash and then rinsed my stuff out and it was totally fine. And then next we are going to get, I just used a cookie tray, line some foil on there, and you are going to lay your glass storage container upside down. So here I'm wiping the lip off because you do not want extra paint all over your lip because it'll dry like that. So here I am, I'm gonna repeat myself again. Now, we are going to leave that upside down for one hour, just so everything can drip out of there. And we're gonna bake at 200 for 20 to 30 minutes and allow to cool inside. I was so impatient, I was so excited to see this, but do you see how light it became? Like, how pretty is that? It looks like stained glass. It's absolutely gorgeous. And here I am with the onion grass. And 
This came from Dollar Tree as well. And I am going to take those little individual pieces off of the main stem. That way I just have more flexibility with how I want to position it and where I want to put it. And then I tried, I do take off like the main part that is taped to it because I thought that it would add more fluff filling. I don't know what it is. So that's just what the, I used two bundles of these by the way. So here I am, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut these down, see how I like it. At first I thought I wanted it really tall. Then I was like, nope, that looks awkward because this glass is so short. So I'm just going to play around with it and do your own thing with this. Cut it off super short. You guys can even use like cut leaves out of felt and like glue it to the rim. You guys can add burlap or like jute twine to the rim and add like a bow if you wanted to. I mean, you can do a lot of stuff. You can make little black X's on it to make it even look more like a pineapple. Um, so I just keep on going and playing with it. I'm looking in the camera and I'm like, dang, that's weird. And I believe I end up taking the those like fluffier parts out of it in the end. So you guys, I hope you love those. I hope you guys, um,